No, I didn't. What did you do, go to the racetrack? Yes. So now, look at you. And later today... I wanted for my collection to see if I could find someone that could build a replica, a full-size working replica of R2-D2. How is it he managed to get his finished before you were able to supply yo? Oh, it's easy. Uh, I scratch build the droid. All right. The only thing that they have identical to them is they take the same amount of pieces to make. It's Joe time after this. Please raise your right hand. Case manager Benjamin Sarconi is suing a robot builder for breach of contract. Defendant Raul Regoza says he owes the plaintiff nothing. Oh, I wonder if the force is strong in this one. Ooh, we'll find out. <clears throat> let's see. If I can synthesize this, let's see. The plaintiff, Mr. Sarconi, is alleging that Mr. Regoza is deficient in his performance to assist in the construction or provide the famous R2-D2. The defendant alleges that he was thrown out of the organization that he was responsible for founding as a result of the activities of the plaintiff and a few other et cetera's in there, right? You first. Your Honor, I've been a serious collector of movie memorabilia and autographs for several years now and also a huge fan of Star Wars, and I wanted for my collection to see if I could find someone that could build a replica, a full-size working replica of R2-D2. Uh, so I found this group on the internet, and they, it was a, it's a collection of uh, people that share blueprints, parts, ideas, and I sent an email out into the club, and I got jumped on pretty much by a lot of the members saying, you're not supposed to ask someone to build one for you. You're supposed to try to build one yourself. But then I yeah, did. Yeah, and if somebody helps you under the cover of the thing, and nobody knows. Mm. Yeah. What so I, I sent a, um, after I sent the email out to the club, I received an email from Mr. Regoza on February the 4th of last year, 2010, and we discussed it at length, the possibility of him making one of these for me, and he had proposed to build one for the total of $7,300, and he had wanted the money wired to him. Uh, that, Which you apparently did, according to your sworn accounting. Yes, I have a copy to of the wire. To his account? Yes. Okay. So, we had agreed that, um, he, he had said that he could complete it within three months time. Um, he said three months tops. He said possibly two, three weeks, but three months absolutely tops. So we signed a contract that we both wrote up together. Actually, I, I wrote the majority of the contract and then he made changes in, but that we both agreed on. Uh, then the deadline passed and after that, I. He, it was just an excuse after excuse. It was, um, he said the, there was an earthquake, there was a problem with the feet being painted, that they, uh, like, it, it went on for like months. And finally I got to a point on July 15th and I sent him an email and said, I either want, you know, the robot delivered by next Friday or I want my money back. He responded by stating, um, good luck standing in line with everyone else I owe money to, and um, no robot. You say it was supposed to have been finished in May, yet when July came around, you did not have the completed unit. I gave him the benefit of the doubt because there were these excuses and, and reasons why the droid wasn't done yet, so I allowed, you know, additional time, but then it just got ridiculous after a while with all the different stories that he gave me why he couldn't finish it in time. Okay. Let's go to the defendant. What do you have to say? <laughs> the problem here is Mr. Sacconi doesn't understand the process of what it takes to build a robot. Uh, you see one piece, but it takes over 100 pieces to build the one piece. Uh, some of the parts I can make, some of the parts I have to outsource because I don't know how to make them. I'm not that talented. And I believe what we said... Such spoke, as? The feet. The feet are very difficult to make, so I don't even try what that. What is that down under there? A tread? Uh, it, we got the motors under. I mean, the inside mechanism is not a problem. I'm talking about the shells outside. That's very difficult to make. And those are made out of wood, 
So it, it takes a while, you know, to get them sanded, to get them filled. And this one over here in front of you is made out of metal. It's all metal. All right. The only thing that they have identical to them is they take the same amount of pieces to make. Now, I also told him that he has to understand that I don't know when the feet are going to get to me. They can get to me in three weeks or they can get to me in three months. Now, what is this I'm looking at? Uh, my collection. That's my Your collection. Your collection? Of yes, sir. Okay. And so I explained to him that I'm at the mercy of the people that are making the parts for me. I understand that, but he, he said from the beginning that it would be three weeks to three months tops to complete this thing. Okay. Well, your in language contract, and your contract specifically it says is that I expect it to be done. It so. says the current owner, Mr. Raul Ragoza, expects that he will complete assembly of this robot within three months from the date he receives the payment of 7300 from Mr. Benjamin J. Sarcone. He expects. Well, I, I would figure the reason he, you know, put that in was because I told him I'm still waiting on the parts. I don't, I don't know when they're going to get here. Couldn't anybody just work with this? I mean, I tried working with him. I, I several times. I, and I've gotten several stories from him about the delays. Well, like uh, did you? What, what is this about the parts? And you giving him credit for six hundred and thirty-five dollars for parts? After things went bad between Mr. Regoza and myself. Um, I had decided to build my own. We had agreed that he, for him to send me parts towards building my own. I mean, he, I mean, he's saying, ask him if he built it from scratch. We'll be back with more Judge Joe Brown in a moment. Oh, there's a big difference between doing that and building it from scratch. Well, here we are a year later, and you still don't have the one that you're supposed to build for me. It's right there. That's it, right well, there. I, I built my own by now. I don't okay. want yours. Well, I wasn't going to give it to you anyway, so. Closed captioning sponsored by. We're back with Judge Joe Brown. The defendant in this case says the plaintiff has no idea what it takes to build an R2-D2 robot. He says he had to get some parts to complete the plaintiff's order, and the plaintiff got impatient. Let's hear what the judge has to say. Where did you get yours? There was a, another builder that had a dome that was already completed that looked just like that. Did you have to fabricate any of the parts that went into yours? No, myself I didn't, but I had to actually take it apart, repaint it, re-glue. So it, it's, it's still involved hands-on work, sanding, cutting, painting to build mine. So even though I didn't fabricate parts like melting plastic or cutting wood, I still had to, I took every piece apart and repainted it and re-sanded, cut, did it all myself. Oh, there's a big difference between doing that and building it from scratch. Well, tell you here we are a year big later and you still don't have the one that you're supposed to build for me. It's right there. That's it right well, there. I, I built my own by now. Okay. I don't want yours. Well, I wasn't going to give it to you anyway, so. <laughs> I Good. Told you. Okay. Now, you had a head start. He at least had the shell. How is it he managed to get his finished before you were able to supply yours? Oh, it's easy. Uh, I scratch built the droid. He bought the parts already made. Some of them were already complete. So the dome that he bought was already done. Is that it? Mm, well, the components were totally different than what the ones I was waiting for. The picture that's on the board, that's the one that I built. OK, how big is it? Same size as this one. OK. And it took me only two and a half months and less than half of what I paid Mr. Regoza. That's why I find it hard to believe with all the stories and of delays with the feet being painted. It was one paint shop, then it's another. And then he got defensive when I tried to, you know, I, I wanted answers. I wanted progress pictures. He never provided progress pictures of that this thing was even being built. They have... Uh, caused you uh, the organization, this fan club or the builders group, to adopt the policy that anyone that belongs is forbidden from making a replica for anybody other than themselves. For profit. Can't make one for profit. Can't make it for profit. <clears throat> I understand kits can be sold, no, components okay. can be sold, but no one is supposed to sell one that they've made or make one for another. And you two had sort of an agreement under the table. You can't sell kits either. That, uh, can you, no kits. You cannot sell. If I, if I gave you a box or three boxes of what it takes to build an R2, they adopted the rule that we can't do that either. That's your club. 
was my club. I'm not part of that club. You anymore. founded it, but now they fired. I, I mean, I didn't found uh, it, but I I was there in the beginning. From According the beginning. to that one 2000 of the founding, some members, 1999, right? I believe it's where. According to one of the officials of the club, Raúl had nothing to do with the founding of the club. I, I never said I did. I mean, I well, don't. you know, it's funny, <laughs> gentlemen. You got an undercover agreement to violate the provisions of the organization. The contract says expects that he will complete assembly within three months. So you want to get your money back, right? At this point, since he you didn't want your money it. back, less the value of the parts that he supplied to you. That's correct. And you built your own. I did. Judge Joe Brown makes his ruling after this. What we're talking about here is, is there substantial compliance? In other words, giving full faith effort to comply with a contract, have you done a substantial amount of work within the realm of what you can do? So you got, what, $695 worth of parts from him, right? Yes, correct. Well, then giving him the credit for the $695, the total you sent him was $7,300. That's a bit over the jurisdictional limit. So you get a refund on your $5,000. That's the maximum you can get, all right? Thank you. This courtroom is now in recess. Help me, Judge Joe. You're my only hope. Come on, you were thinking it too. No lightsabers in this duel. Just a little law. The plaintiff wins. We'll be right back. Next on Judge Joe Brown. Our back, a Jedi, I, I mean judge, uses the force for knowledge, and the force is strong here. So is the plaintiff's case. The defendant did not deliver as promised. Plaintiff wins. To submit your case to Judge Joe Brown, to download sample documents, or to find out how the law can work for you, go to judgejoebrown.com.